So about a week ago, I got a call from Bill Ryan over at Supercross, and he was like, dude, what is up with the background in these videos? I was like, what do you mean? He was like, dude, you have so much crap in the background, it looks like a mess. And I was like, well, I put up this black bed sheet to kind of hide the shelves and stuff right here. I don't really have anything to hide back there. And then he was like, dude, hold my beer. Not really, because I don't think Bill drinks. But if we're talking memes, he was like, hold my beer. I'm going to send you a backdrop. And I was like, okay. I think that's what's in this box right now. I mean, check this out. It says my name, Supercross BMX Marketing. That's official. So let's open this thing up. I got my little handy dandy pocket knife that I keep in my shop. So we're gonna open it, we're gonna check this bad boy out. It's definitely the banner. Oh, I almost hit my cat. Dude, this thing is huge. Check me out, I got a new Supercross blanket. Oh my God, where am I gonna put it? So it's got these little grommet things that I can hang it off of, but I don't have anything to hang it back there. But it's also got this little opening so where I can put like a piece of pipe or something. Let's see if we can temporarily prop it up. Hmm. It's my little helper. There's my little helper, Jeff. Hi, buddy. Oh, look, I found a piece of pipe. All right, so I got somewhat of a plan here. I have my stick of conduit. I have my ladder right here. I'm probably gonna put a box right on top of it. I'm gonna hang the conduit off of the ladder and then I'm gonna set it up on top of one of these boxes right here. It's looking better already. You know what's funny? I didn't even know it's upside down. Take two, let's see if we can put it in the right way this time. Ha! Yeah! I mean, that's probably not the safest way to do it, but does it have to be safe? Nah. I changed the box right here. This wasn't quite level, and I'm real picky about stuff like that, so it looks a lot. It looks much better like that. What do you guys think? All right, we got the background all set up. I'm gonna have to play around with it because I don't know where to stand. Should I stand right in front of it? Should I stand on the side? I don't know, we're gonna have to play around with it. I need to make it nice and flat and then play around with the lighting a little bit, but it's covering all my junk. Now that we're done messing around, putting up that backdrop, let's jump into what this video is all about. And that's our first bike of the week. There was so many entries, way more than we could have even thought there was gonna be. And we wanted to thank you guys for posting up your pictures of your bikes and hashtag BOTW15. For the people that were asking, what does BOTW15 stand for? And it stands for Bike of the Week 15, because if you use that code at checkout on supercross.com, you get 15% off of your entire order. So hopefully you guys are taking full advantage of that because I know I am. I actually just bought two sweatshirts because I have a ton of Supercross shirts, but I don't have any Supercross sweatshirts and I thought I needed to add some to my collection. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go through Instagram and we're just gonna scroll through the hashtag and we're gonna pick a winner. And like I was saying last week, whoever we pick for Bike of the Week, we're gonna send them a box of goodies. I'm not sure what's gonna be in the box. It's gonna come straight from the Supercross warehouse, so it could really be anything. Bobbleheads, stickers, seat, I don't know. All right, so I just opened up Instagram. We're gonna go to the search page right now. Oh, what up, Elise? Eli Tomac, what up? Let's search the hashtag, and there it is right there, the first one, because I just searched it to look through all the photos. We're gonna hit recent because there's some hashtags on here from some skateboard event in 2015. All right, here we go. Here's all the entries for Bike of the Week. There's a ton of Supercross bikes. Remember, for Bike of the Week, it doesn't have to be a Supercross. It could be whatever bike you got. So the first one right here, it's a nice carbon bike. A little bit of high viz. Got some purple accents to it. Okay, I dig that. Let's go to our next one. Ooh, 
This kid's got an old Skyway. That's pretty sick. That's old school. Damn. He's even got the checkered slip-on bands. Ooh, a nice chrome RS7. The chain's a little loose. A nice flat black RS7 cruiser with the carbon rims. Looks like rainbow spokes. All right, here we go. Here's someone that entered for bike of the week, but it's not a Supercross. They got a Velocity. It's blue with a little bit of the American flag and the decals. I like that. Nag 19. Here go. Here's another bike that's not a Supercross and they entered in the bike of the week. It's a red line. I like that they got the flat pedals. I saw Supercross post this frame a little while ago. It kind of has like a Australian flag, Brazilian flag type of feel to it. I like that. Go. We got Makipa Hobson. He's got three bright green Hulk smash Supercrosses. Obviously he doesn't count because he gets boxes of stickers all the time and boxes of bikes. So he doesn't count. Ooh, here we go. Check out this murdered out MVBLK2 Cruiser. Damn, I like that. It's got a little hint of red in it. That's probably gonna be one of my top contenders. This guy's got like, it almost looks like a gunmetal chromoly supercross. I love chromoly. Too bad he only has a picture of it sitting in the back of his truck. I feel like this could be a top contender. Here we go, we got another chromoly supercross. All chromed out except the wheels. Even the number plate has chrome on it. Another chrome chromoly supercross bike. God, I love chromoly. It's just something about chromoly. I love it. I love my carbon. I love the way it looks, but damn, chromoly looks good. Here's another Supercross MVBLK2, all carbon, carbon speedline forks, carbon avian rims. Got the black DXRs. I like that. He must have painted them himself. He's got a little touch of color with the antifreeze onyx hubs. Unfortunately, I ran out of room on my phone to screen record, but you guys got the idea. If you want to see all the entries for Bike of the Week, just search that hashtag and you'll see all the pictures of all the bikes. It's pretty cool to see. Me and Bill Ryan over at Supercross got together and picked our favorite bike entry this week for Bike of the Week, and we pick Peyton Thune? Thun? I don't know how to pronounce it. Peyton Thune 47, congratulations. You won our bike of the week. We'll be reaching out to you on Instagram to get an address so we can send you your goodie box. We decided we were gonna pick Peyton for this week's bike of the week winner because we just love the overall look of his bike. Plus he took all of the perfect pictures that we were asking for. He's got all the perfect angles. His bike is nice and clean and it just looks overall badass. I just wanted to say thank you again to everyone that entered this week's Bike of the Week. Make sure you're putting in your entries for next week's Bike of the Week. Remember, it does not have to be a Supercross. It could be any bike you have, any brand, any style bike. Post a picture of your mom's beach cruiser. So stay safe, stay healthy, stay home, but go outside and ride your bike, and I'll see you next video.